Hi, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. In today's tutorial, we'll be showing you how to create an IC teaming in Windows Server 2025, especially in a virtual machine environment. An IC teaming allows you to combine multiple network adapters into a single virtual network interface to increase network performance, redundancy, and reliability. When enabling NIC teaming, we will need at least two network adapters present on the Windows Server machine. It provides these benefits through link aggregation, means sending traffic over multiple network adapters and fault tolerance. Before we get started, make sure you have the Windows Server 2025 installed in a virtual machine, at least two virtual network adapters added to your virtual machine and administrator privileges on this server. Let's begin by opening the server manager on your Windows Server 2025 virtual machine. You can find it in the start menu or the taskbar. Once the server manager opens, click on local server in the left hand menu to access the network settings. I have already added three NIC cards in this virtual machine. I'll use all three adapters to configure NIC teaming. Currently, NIC teaming is disabled. To configure it, click on Disabled link. In the NIC Teaming window, click on Task in the top right corner and select New Team. This will open the New Team Wizard. The New Team Wizard will now prompt you to select the network adapters you want to include in the team. Choose at least two network adapters from the list. For this example, we will select Ethernet, Ethernet 2 and Ethernet 3 network adapters. Next, you need to configure the teaming mode. For that, click on Additional Properties. There are several teaming options available such as Switch Independent, LSCP and Static Teaming. For this example, we will choose Switch Independent because it's simple and doesn't require special switch configuration. Switch Independent provides redundancy in case one network adapter or switch fails. If you are in a more complex environment, you might choose LSCP for dynamic link aggregation. For virtual machine, you have to compulsory select switch independent mode. Now, let's configure the load balancing modes. There are different modes such as address hash, Hyper-V port and dynamic. For most environments, address hash is a solid choice. In virtual machine, only address hash load balancing mode is available. So for virtual machine, you have to select a switch independent teaming mode with address hash as a load balancing mode. Now give your NIC team a name. This can be anything that makes sense for your environment like VM team or primary NIC team. Once you have selected your options, click OK to create the NIC team. The system will take a few moments to create the team and apply the settings. When the process is complete, you will see your new NIC team listed in the NIC teaming window. You can verify the member network adapters of the NIC team and can also check that which network adapters are in active state. To verify that the NIC teaming is working correctly, go back to the local server section in Server Manager. Let's refresh this Server Manager dashboard. NIC teaming is currently enabled and we have a NIC team with the name Primary NIC Team. Currently, Primary NIC Team is set to obtain an IP address automatically from the DHCP server. Now that the new team is created, you should be able to assign an IP address by going to the properties of your NIC team adapter. To do that, click on IP version 4 address assigned by DHCP link. Select your NIC team, right click on it and go for the properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on properties. Choose use the following IP address and based on your network IP address range, assign the IP address to your server. In my example, I am going to assign the IP address 192.168. 25.25. Press tab key to automatically assign the subnet mask which is going to be 255.255.255.0. Default gateway's address is going to be 192.168.25.1. Preferred DNS server's address is going to be 192.168.25.1. In alternate DNS server's address, I am going to specify Google's public DNS server's address which is 8888. After configuring the IP address settings, Click OK and click on Close. Now you can check NIC teaming by pinging it continuously from another computer using the command ping 192.168.25.25. 
टाइप कमांड पिंग वन नाइन टू वन सिक्स एट एंड प्रेस एंटर की वी आर रिसीविंग रिप्लाइज बैक फ्रॉम द आईपी एड्रेस डिसेबल वन ऑफ द नेटवर्क एडेप्टर राइट क्लिक ऑन इथरनेट एडेप्टर थ्री एंड सिलेक्ट डिसेबल we can see still we are getting replies back from the ip address 192.168.25.311 and it would still ping the ip address without any impact let's again enable the network adapter let's check the nic teaming speed right click on nic team and select status at the moment it is only 2 gb let me close it let's refresh Let's again right click on primary NIC team and select status. We can see the primary NIC team speed is 3 Gbps because we have 3 1 Gbps network adapter participating in this NIC team. You have successfully created NIC team in Windows Server 2025 within your virtual machine. This provides better network performance and failover redundancy. It's great feature for high availability environments. If you found this video helpful be sure to like comment and subscribe for more tutorials on windows server management thanks for watching and happy networking